I'm in Helsinki and I just jumped in that sea. That's perfect. <laughs> Why? But first, a message from my hotel room. Hello, if you are a regular subscriber, thank you very much. But you will know that this video is coming to you bang smack in the middle of a cheap Icelandic road trip, which was going so well, but then I didn't upload for a month. So I wanted to show my face and say sorry, it's just been a manic few weeks. For those of you who don't know, I make radio documentaries for a living, mostly for the BBC. And um, I'm actually coming to you right now from my hotel room in Helsinki, where I've been making a documentary about a roller coaster designer. Basically spent my whole day yesterday riding roller coasters. It's a really tough job. Let's see how much I can I, hold I, I, I hope you are now excited. You should support your arm, yes. You will experience a lot. You can see Helsinki, and then we are just dropping down. The big inversion, jump into break, and this was it. So, how you're feeling? <laughs> you say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was having to keep quiet. <laughs> what a professional. As you can see, there are a lot of perks to the job international travel, really interesting topics. However, a lot of these things are a one man, one woman show. So a lot goes into them. And when something's coming up, you just got to throw everything at it. And this summer, I've been recording a six part podcast about financial domination. Very interesting. Uh, I've been getting ready for this program. And I've also got one coming up in two weeks. So basically, it's been proper hectic. However, I can't really blame just the work. I've been having a very nice time too. In June alone, I had three weddings each weekend, which is where I tend to do most of my video editing work. So yeah, life has just got in the way. And when I'm not doing YouTube or holidays, cheap holidays full time, unfortunately, something has to give and it's been this, which I've been so sad about. Right now, I'm about halfway through the fourth Iceland video. It's literally sat on my laptop for a month and it's upsetting me that it's not done. But I thought today, as I'm in Helsinki, I've got a bit of time. I've got five hours before I need to go off to the airport. I thought I'd take you with me and on the plane, I will edit what I can and whatever I get done, is getting uploaded. We're gonna do a short edit on this one. It's gonna be a challenge because I'm a total perfectionist, but I thought this would be a nice way for me to get back into it in a more realistic way. So Helsinki, let's do it. But first, let me show you this hotel room. This is the Holiday Inn Helsinki Expo, which if you looked at it on a map is outside of the city center. However, it's right next to a train station that takes you in in one stop, direct, in less than 10 minutes. You can get such a better deal by doing it this way. This room, which I think is so nicely done, was £87 for the night. And that was on a Friday and a Saturday. So peak going away city break times. Honestly, super impressed with it. I think it's really, really nice. Plus, for me, someone, oh, that's them telling me to check out. I'm coming down now, so I'll see you in a second. Thank you, bye. <laughs> Hilarious. And um, what was I even saying? Oh yeah, as somebody uploading audio and video, the Wi-Fi is mint, right? <laughs> I really should check out. Thank you so much. A single journey is only two euros 80, but since I'm going central, coming back to pick up my bags, and then going to the airport after, I just thought for ease I'd get a day trip card. If I'm in a rush, <laughs> I don't need to buy a new ticket. Also, I'm interested to see if this will work on the tram system here too. Let's see the first beautiful view of Helsinki City Centre. I'm sure I'll get there, but I might need an umbrella. I haven't got a bloody clue what I'm doing today. Let's see where I end up. Oh my God, a bakery. Caramel and Lingonbury. What a beautiful pairing. What a great start to this day. The buildings here are really interesting. To me, they're quite like Western European, a bit like Parisian maybe. 
also reminded me a bit of Warsaw. The colours are quite scanty with the different colours for each building, but they feel a bit more muted than places like Copenhagen. Oh, that's a great view. Buses. There's loads of groups of tourists here right now. But I came for dinner really close here last night and there was no one here. The clouds were moody and I managed to get this photo. So I'd recommend coming later on perhaps if you wanted to get a nice shot. Oh, I need to get to the gym, I'm absolutely knackered lads. Whoa! Shit son! Oh my god! <laughs> seagull just legit oh my god a seagull just face planted himself into my shoulder sorry about that pal just uh, trying to try and do some nice shots don't mind me right gonna head back to market square to see what's going on there mix that every market needs of wonderful handcrafted affairs and absolute tat. But I think what everyone's here for are in these orange tents, the food. The one thing everyone seems to be flogging is the salmon soup, so I think that's what I'm going to go for. Yeah. Stopped raining for a moment, so I've put you on a bin. You are welcome. I'm going to try this salmon soup. It looks really oily, i.e. delicious. Oh my God, it's really good. That is so, it's really salty. It's so delicious. I did wonder, there's a lot of tourists in those markets. There's a lot of fish in there for eight euros. I think that's decent. The view from up here is amazing. You see that whole old town area. You can also see three swimming pools, which I believe is part of a traditional Finnish sauna or sauna, as they say it here, where you go in, you sit in the sauna, you get all hot, and you've got a pool full of seawater that you dunk yourself into. I'm an idiot. I've been going on about how it looks a bit European. It's not, is it? It's Russian. That's what it looks like. And even the cathedral back then had a Russian feel to it. And that's because the Finns got their independence from the Russians in 1917. It's like if I had thought it through, I could have put those two things together. The weather cannot make its bloody mind up. I've now got my sunnies on, but I've got a question for you. What are the Finnish people the biggest consumers of worldwide? I've had in three weeks. I am so excited. Oh my God. Oh, and what a place to do it. Look at the view I've got. Now I've got an hour and a half before I need to go back to my hotel to pick up my bag. And do you know what? I think, I think I want to do a bit of Finnish sauna. I'm gonna go back to those sea pools and see if they've got space for me. 14 euros to go in, 8.50 to rent a towel, a bit pricey. Would, would have bought one myself if I was staying tonight as well, but I'm not, so this was a good treat. Well, when I got up this morning and saw the rain, I did not expect to be standing outside in my bikini, but here we are. You're in the locker, they come free of your ticket. You lock it with your wristband and I'm going to go do a bit of a sauna and then I'll get you out again when I jump in that 11 degree Helsinki fresh open seawater. <laughs> Shit! That is hot. And now for jumping in the seawater, I am actually I crapping my pants about this. <laughs> okay, someone finished, just came up to this seawater pool, put their foot in and went no and walked off. Shit! <laughs> you want to know something? I actually did that twice. 
the first time I cut off my reaction. <sighs> Genuinely feel like my fanny might drop off. That was so good. I recommend it to anyone. Honestly, you feel so refreshed after jumping in the sea. It's bloody cold, but you feel mint after it. I think I feel better after that than the coffee. Maybe that's my new thing. But I'm now on the tram back to the hotel. Can use it on my pass. Stadium may not have a lot of restaurants and bars, but the good thing is that train station I took to get into the city centre before is also on the airport line. So I can just hop in there, no changes, 25 minutes and I'll be at the airport. A woman on the train lost her luggage. Now they don't know if someone stole it or if someone took it mistakenly, but they couldn't find it. So just a bit of a reminder to always keep it in sight. Bye. I'm back and the video is done. Okay, I did spend another couple of hours on it when I got back home, but I'm still pretty impressed with that. And I'm hoping it will give me the kick up the arse that I needed to get those Iceland videos done. Going forward, if you wanna be like checking out what I'm doing day to day, Instagram is the place to do it. I do post a lot of cheap holiday inspo on there as well. Oh, and I do this thing called the holiday hotline where you request what you want and I find a holiday for you. So get on that. If you're totally new around here, please hit subscribe, go back and watch some of the Iceland videos, and hopefully very soon you'll see the fourth installation. Right, that's it. All right, comment, leave me a little comment, and hopefully I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye!